Okay, sit in that chair. All right, here's the deal. Marshmallow, for you. You can either wait, and I'll give you another one if you wait, or you can eat it now. When I come back, I'll give you two, another one. So then you'll have two. But stay in here and stay in the chair till I come back, okay? okay. All right. I'm gonna go do something and then I'll come back. It smells yummy. So it's up to you. You can have it now or you can wait. Okay? I'll be back. Stay in the chair, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna leave and then I'll come back, okay? So you can either eat it right now or you can wait. Either way, okay? Okay. How'd you do? Did you do good? You did? Yeah. You wanted to eat it, didn't you? Yeah. So did I tell you I'd give you another one? Okay, now you can have both. You need them. <laughs> hey guys, Brandon with Paresis. I hope you enjoyed that uh, short video there. Uh, it was actually based on a study conducted in the 1960s at Stanford University. And what they uh, found was the children that were able to uh, delayed that gratification or had a little bit more self-control and didn't eat the marshmallow later in life they exhibited those same characteristics in other aspects so they had higher SAT scores they went further educationally as a group as a whole than the ones that uh, ate the marshmallow um, and we believe that that goes hand in hand with retirement planning um, when you sit down to plan a vacation uh, a lot of time, I mean, you'll sit down and you'll put that mental effort and you plan into the future. You plan your route, where you're going to stay, where you're going to eat, the little excursions that you're going to go on. I feel that a lot of people plan better for uh, a vacation than they do for their own retirement. And your retirement is going to be your longest vacation. Hopefully, it's a great vacation. But you've got to do the exact same thing. You've got to sit down, you've got to plan for it, and you've got to not eat the marshmallow. You've got to be disciplined and delay that gratification a lot of the times. And a lot of times that's difficult. So we believe that if you get set up on, on good solid financial habits um, and understand those concepts, have a financial plan in place, uh, then it'll make it easier to be disciplined and move towards those goals. You'll see the goals, you'll visualize those goals, and that's key. Um, being able to uh, know what you're shooting for, you know, not just when you get closer. Because most people, when you've got 10 years, 5 years, um, away from retirement, it's, it probably doesn't even cross your mind that often um, until it gets really close. But So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of start a campaign that's kind of based on don't eat the marshmallow. Uh, we're going to try to get some shirts that are for you know the retired clients that we have. They'll say, I didn't eat the marshmallow. 
And then for the other clients that are still working towards retirement, they're going to say, don't eat the marshmallow. Uh, and also what we'll do is for a limited time, and we're just really going to test it, is open up a portal on our website. And so what you have to do is contact us with just your name and email, and then we'll go in and open a portal for you. And you actually will have access to financial planning software that a lot of advisors uh, charge a handsome fee uh, not to have access to. It's what they actually use to build financial plans. We're going to make that available to you if you want to go in and create your own financial plan. We're not going to sell you anything. We're, like I said, we're a portfolio management firm anyway. So this is just something to help out. It's a value add uh, that we'll make available. And we'll just see how it goes. I mean, if we get a lot of interest in it, um, it may be something we'll continue. And of course, if, you, if we open it up to you, then you'll have access to it. But um, until next time, guys, don't eat the marshmallow. Mm -hmm.